Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. I think there is an issue with my walled spawn point. I'm going to have to take a look. Because uh, that is a lot, that's a lot of messages. Uh, yeah, that is going to become uh, a bit of an issue if I don't move the wall pipes. Wow, we have a lot of eggs too. So I have loads of stuff just to do very quickly off screen here. I think the reason why I have an issue here is because I have moved this pallet accidentally and it sort of encroached into the other pallet spawn point. So yeah, I'll just get it moved over first of all. Anyway, yes, how is everybody doing today? Hopefully you're doing very well. Just need to uh, reverse out of here. But yeah, the first job of today is to use the brand new Matty Ferguson 8737, which has, I think it's got about 0 0.3 hours on it, so it really is brand new. And I sorted that issue, that's good. Yeah, what it's going to be doing is ploughing the middle field. Now, I do need to buy this field next to us, which I keep saying in pretty much every video. As soon as I have the money, I am going to buy it. It really shouldn't be too long. A uh, maximum of two days, because that's how long it takes, or three days, for the horses to become ready to sell, because I'm doing them sort of staggered. So four will be ready, and then a few days later, four more will be ready. Seems to work quite well that way. Um, so yeah, very soon I'm going to be buying it, and we're going to be expanding the farm even further. But before that happens, I do need to spend a little bit more money on the front plough. So if I just go and take this trailer over here, I'll drop it off and then go back over to where my original plough is, which is just there. I'm hoping that I might even be able to buy another replacement rear plough, since this one isn't that big, although it doesn't really need to be that big when I have a front plough on anyway. So I will just have a browse and see exactly what we can do. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too expensive, the front one. But we will soon find out. It actually isn't too bad. This is a five furrow, so with one on the front, it should be pretty good. So here we are, over at the dealership, ready to buy the front plough. I actually have no idea what it costs. It could be anything. If it is an extreme amount, then I'm not going to get it, but it really shouldn't be. It is a mod. There we go, £12,000 for the Kuhnvario 153 front which I've always liked the idea of. So there we go, it has... I thought it had two wheels actually, but no. It would appear only one. Uh, where's it gone? Right next to me. Okay then, so yep, yeah, I'll attach to that, and then it's going to be a case of just going into the field and starting work after having a very quick look at the rear plows. That's a power harrow. Yeah, so... Uh, it probably could pull something like this one here. But even this is going to take a fair bit of horsepower. So I think for today, to save spending more money, I'm going to stick with this setup. It is a very impressive setup, making the machine incredibly long. Um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's better than just one rear plow. It also kind of acts as a front weight, although when it is down, some of the weight is obviously put onto the ground, but yeah, it still should help the traction a little bit. I'm intrigued to see how this is going to work. I haven't actually tried it out yet, so hopefully it does work quite well. I've only spent 12000 so really, that's not too much compared to what we do have. I've also taken off the header and put it there on the trailer, and I've also put the, uh, the combine in the yard. Right, so... This is where I'm going to start. I'm not going to start at the edge just because it's a very strange shape. I'll do that at the end. Uh, so first of all, unfold that. And then uh, unfold this one as well. That's set correctly. Good. Down and down. And that should, if I stay in a straight line, should work very well. It is working. But even with that, it's not actually ploughing a massive amount of land. It's good, but it's not like super impressive. But we do have the power to do this, which is always good. No wheel slippage. At least not too much. Yep, that is working. So a worker is actually going to be doing this mostly. This is just for me to have a bit of a play around first of all. Let's see what it looks like from the exterior view. I like it, I really do. I wonder how the worker would actually perform. Let's see. 
So far, so good. I'm impressed. I like it. I'm going to be sticking with the setup. I did think that in the uh, screenshot there was actually a wheel, a land wheel at the back here, but actually, or the front, it, it would appear not. There is just the one over here. But that's all it really needs, the depth wheel, I think it's called. Oh no, the traffic are giving way again. Oh yeah, that lifted up perfectly, and yep, the rear. So, yeah, that is a very good setup. The only issue is now, <laughs> the traffic is probably going to be in the way. That's working so well. I'm genuinely impressed. Because I know what the work can be like. It can be really good. But other times it can just be a joke. It's set off there alright. Oh, that is just perfect. That is perfect. So actually, it probably won't take too long. If I just get on with something else, by the time I get back to here, it will have probably progressed quite a long way into the field. So I will leave it to it, but I, I really do like this. It's quite a tough field to plough. It's pushing and pulling uphill. You can see it is slipping a little bit. But it is the largest Massey Ferguson, so there shouldn't be any issues. And it's back down the bottom again, doing absolutely fine, except for it's reversing a long way back. I can only assume it's either that car, or this post just here, which is making it think, oh, there's something right in front of me, I need to reverse about five miles back. But otherwise, yep, very good. I'm going to have to finish off here, tidying up the headland, but you wouldn't tend to do the headland first anyway, so that's fine. And there it goes, back up the field. You wouldn't even know it had a front plough on there, except for the, the piece of plough sticking out of the front. Yes, that didn't go well. Nice. Hopefully you like the setup. I certainly do. This is where I put the John Deere Combine Harvester. Just the obvious place to put it. But I also want to do a bit of construction work as well in the next couple of episodes. Probably tomorrow, but it might be today. Um, I have another shed to put up, so I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle. It is going to be a struggle to put it in here somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, I might just have to wait a little bit longer before I actually set it up. I do have a few boxes to move, but for some reason, because these are actually in the trigger, they're refusing to accept and go into there. So, just a bit of a, a slide backwards, first of all. And then for the next three seconds of this video, I'm going to be moving egg boxes. Okay, making it a little bit longer than three seconds because I have some more over here. I don't know what it is about the pallets over there, but they just do not want to fill up, so they must be already full, I assume. And if they are, then I have a small fortune just sat here. As far as I can tell, the only way of actually finding out is to detach this and put the front loader back on and some pallet times and then just see if it will recognise the fill level. Hopefully, it will do. Um, but yes, all I can do is try it out and, and see. Hopefully, I can see. So front loader is just over here, along with palatines and the bales. <laughs> the bales from yesterday, what a disaster that was. I couldn't believe what a fail it was. I really do need to move on to the square bales. So that again is something else I need to buy. I did get a comment yesterday saying, uh, well now you've got the tractor, I feel like it's going to be no progress. How is it going to be progress? Well, there's still loads of stuff I do need to buy and expand on. I want to do some different crops and also maybe try out some poplars, something like that. And uh, yeah, there's just always things that I can do. So yeah, it's definitely not the end just because I have bought a new tractor. And when I do move on to the next map, which won't be a really long time from now, because I think this is episode 52, um, yes, it's going to be a case of keeping the same machinery. What I used to do in 17 was uh, sell the machinery and then start from fresh with like three million pounds. That just seemed a bit unnecessary, so I'm going to actually just move as if I was moving in real life. Uh, so we keep the same machinery, and then in the future if I need to uh, replace something I can do, just as if it was a continuation of the same let's play. So no cheating, there's not going to be any kind of adding money in. All the money has been made by me in this series. Okay, so yeah, that is actually full. That explains why it's not filling up, which is absolutely astonishingly good, because these are worth an absolute fortune. Wow, I am impressed, and it actually means I don't need to use the front loader because it's slower, but I will do anyway because I've already got it attached. So I'm going to load these up, and I'll see you, as long as you haven't clicked off the video, in a few minutes, or probably a few seconds actually.
Well, there we go. That has turned out to be incredible. I can't believe the amount of eggs I actually have here. So, let's now see if I actually have a good sell point to take these two. If I do, then they're going to be going. Okay, so it does actually get much better than this. That is actually good. But, uh, yeah, I've had six, possibly seven thousand pounds per 1,000 litres. So I'm going to play the waiting game here. Allow more to appear, because I can still throw some more cardboard boxes into the rear two crates, because they're not actually full. The front four are actually totally full. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is good. I can't really lose here. The Massey Ferguson is continuing, and very soon I do need to turn field number 25, which is the field over there on the corner, into a grass field. It's going to be completely seeded, um, so that I can do some, well, possibly some silage bales, actually. I'd like to do that. It's not looking great, but it's okay. That's that's actually... Uh, actually, I think this was a piece I messed up. So, yeah, it's doing a good job. I would do some drilling, but unfortunately, my Ford tractor isn't capable of pulling the, uh, the seed drill. So I'm going to have to wait for this one to be freed up. Plowing is just a slow job, but I like it. Even in real life, I, I find it a very enjoyable job. Look at that. So that leaves me in the yard. I don't know what I can do. Let me have a think about this. I can see that the horses actually require some straw and also some hay and water. So for the first time in a very long time, I need to do some horse work. Now I think if I drop this off the back, I think the loading wagon actually is full of hay. I hope it is. If it's full of grass, then it's not the end of the world because the sheep take that, but it wouldn't be as good as hay. So. Yeah, fingers crossed it is actually going to be uh, a hay product. There is my dog, Mr. Sniff. Very happy. I do feed him, but he eats the food in like three seconds. And that's the thing about this game. It doesn't actually... Uh, well, you, you can't kill the animals, which is actually a good thing, because that would be kind of cruel, uh, if you don't feed them. Yeah, this is grass, so... Over to the sheep, I can top up their trough, but I can't do any hay for the horses. Which is problematic. It really is. Ah, look, I can use this to pick up the, the spilled grass, because they're very messy. Clean the area. So much easier than using a front loader. Then, we can have it given back to them. Very effective. There you go, sheep. Right, so yeah, I'm on the water run, and also I do need to do the hay. I might have to go and buy some hay bales. It's expensive, but uh, yeah, I don't have any to get. I could just mow some of that, but to be honest, I think because we make so much off them anyway, uh, just a, a couple of hay bales isn't going to be too much of an issue. Or I could even sell this. I could sell this. I would pay for the hay bales. It's off to the store. Sell point, barn, whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, make some money off the grass. I fear it's going to be there all day. It is just a big feel for the plough though. So pleased they got the front plough, even though it is only adding about a metre to the working width. Oh, hello sign. Yeah, so as I was explaining, this field here is going to be the grass field. It's going to be a pretty good one for it, hopefully. Uh, I'm thinking about doing silage bales. I think that's going to be a fairly effective thing to be doing. Especially as I'm going to be buying a square baler, so I might as well just go for the coon baler, which can actually do wrapping and baling together in one. So I'd have to have two separate machines. I think that's going to be a good thing to do. But that will likely be done after the, uh, the purchasing of the field next to my farm, which is actually field number 19. Um, because, yeah, I really do need to buy that, and I'm kind of sick of saying, we're going to buy that in the future. So I just need to buy it and get it over and done with. This should be worth a fair bit. Yeah, it's all extra anyway, so... It is £1,675, which I think actually is the price of a bale. 1600 Or is it... Oh no, that's the price of two bales, possibly. Was it £800? I don't know. Not too sure. But yeah, that might have paid for it. So here is the plan of action. What I'm going to do is put the bale grab back onto this tractor pick up two of those straw bales just there, the round bales, and 
give those to the horses. Then I'm going to go over to this store and then bring back the other seatbelts, obviously. Should be a fairly easy thing to be doing. Although I might take out some signs, just accidentally. I always hit signs. For some reason, signposts are just so easy to uh, knock flying. You just clip the side of them and they are off. It's like they have some kind of explosive charge underneath them. So you just have to clip the sensor and kaboom! There it goes. The signpost is in the air. Unless that's just my imagination running wild. Anyway, yep, two of these, which is going to go badly wrong because I can't actually lower the top of this, I don't think. The grab is the size that it is. Uh, and I can't go right up here without hitting the roof. I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. I need two. I just need the top two. Uh, ah, yes, that is the issue. Well, if you want entertainment, you've come to the right place. Because this is going to go even worse in a minute. I've taken the weight off too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, embarrassing. I might be able to recover from this. I might be able to. Yes. Can you believe it? So instead of having two bales, I've actually got four bales. So I'll just take them over there and see exactly what happens. I can leave them there because they will be accepted when they require them. Unless my two from before are still stuck in the trigger. Oh, sorry, Mr. Sniff. And, ah, oh, my bales. Oh, there are still bales over here. So despite me leaving them there, they weren't actually accepted. They must be just out of the trigger. How annoying. Maybe it just doesn't accept bales. Straw is low. Very low. That's interesting, because I'm sure that is the place you take straw to. They must only take straw from a loading wagon or something. Hmm. I'll just move this one again. Okay, that is interesting. I'm sure I've given them straw bales before, but possibly not. Because that doesn't make much sense. Right, okay, so it is definitely the trigger over there, because I've given them straw before. I don't believe this. I can't believe that it's not accepting it. Hmm. Okay, well, if anybody has any experience with straw bales over at the horse paddock, please do let me know, because I'm sure they should take it, but they just don't seem to. So, yeah. Next time, I should be able to have some answers on that, hopefully. As for the hay bales, though, that's definitely not an issue. Except for buying them, which is an issue. More money. Oh, it looks to have almost finished, unless it's just the light. Yeah, it probably is the light. Okay, yep, yeah, so over there, off we go. And, um, yeah, buy some bales. 650. Well, that's not too bad. I'm going to go for two of those. You get no discount at all for buying two. I suppose you wouldn't do though, because two bales isn't exactly a great deal. Maybe 200. Should get a discount on that. Now to transport them back over to the farm. So I think the series has actually got to the stage now where I can start to make it interactive. So by this I mean I leave a vote in a video asking my viewers what they would like to see in a future video, not necessarily the next video, but in a future video, and then I can sort of please the audience more, which will always be a good thing. So yeah, I probably will do that very soon. There might even be a vote in this video, I'm not too sure yet. Right, okay, so yeah, the thing I'm waiting for is the egg price to go really high, because that is obviously going to be worth an absolute fortune, and I'm sure everybody wants to see the astonishing amount of money produced from these uh, these six pallets just here. It's all going well here. Yep, no issues at all. The traffic was messing it up, so I've turned traffic off, and that has improved the situation dramatically. As you can see, the price is now rocketing, so that is good. Very soon, I should be selling those eggs. But as for the massive focus, it's time just to leave it. I'm just going to keep it going, and hopefully by 
the next episode it will have finished the plowing at which point I can put a seeder onto it and get it drilling I don't know the crop again that could be like an interactive question so that my audience can choose the next crop and then I can obviously work with whatever it is time to reattach to the trailer in preparation for going to the cell point so I need to pull those pallets out of there they actually did work really well although it is still touching that top part a little bit so there we go good yeah it didn't even break them right so a long time has progressed and the best price that I can possibly get is 5781 without waiting a number of days uh, so I'm gonna take that price it was probably very similar to that before uh, but yeah, I was watching it, it was going up, it was going up very quickly, but then that's just where it peaked. It can get to six or seven thousand, I've seen it before. But yeah, I need to get this thing emptied. So I'm just going to load everything up and go to the grain mill, which I think is the best price. And the final box, which I've just fallen over and no doubt broken the eggs. In fact, I've broken the eggs in every crate here. That one seems to be full. Typical. One should be right. There you are. Good. Okay, off we go. Yeah, the grain mill is the best price. This is still going to be very impressive. Prepare yourself. I have also had the suggestion to actually sell Fenum 25, which is the one I want to turn to grass, and then use the money to buy the field closer to me, which I could still do. I might still turn it to grass take a cut off it of silage which would be worth a fortune and then sell it and then I could buy another field so the potential is there also if I do change maps which I will be doing at some point I will be selling the land because you now can sell land because that will be required to actually buy the fields on the next farm so it's all going to be done really well much better than 17 although I do still love 17 it's a very good game and here we are so, I don't know. It's going to be good though. This could be... 50,000? I don't know. I don't know what I was on before, but that is 55, 506 plus 14, 749. Which is clearly a very good price. Wow. So the total is back up to 157, which might even be enough to buy that field. Oh, it's pretty big though, isn't it? 174. Not yet. But yeah, very, very soon. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.